What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my level of news where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Monday, April 15th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up for today's news. Former Blizzard president Mike Yalba, who left the company in January, proposed the idea of leaving tips for developers after completing $70 games, expressing admiration for exponential gaming experiences like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Baldur's Gate 3. Yabra acknowledged potential backlash, noting the wariness of tipping culture. However, he said what he said, and players reacted negatively, citing existing controversies surrounding microtransactions and in pricing in the gaming industry, questioning the feasibility of ensuring developers receive these tips, particularly in case of games produced by large publishers. In a heartwarming revelation, Blasphemous level designer shared on Twitter that Larian Studios was a major supporter of the game's Kickstarter campaign contributing a substantial sum without seeking back rewards. Despite their significant contribution, Larian remained modest about their involvement, highlighting their dedication to creating exponential games. Blasphemous, a dark metrovania with infusions from the Soul series, received praise for its unique take on religion. While the original outing received a respectable 70% in most 2019 reviews, anticipation for the sequel soared, with PCG print editor Robert Jones calling it a cult classic in the making. Larian's gesture of support reflects their crowdfunding success with Divinity Original Sin. EA's Black Panther game seems to be an open world experience hinted at by a recent job listing for Principal Sandbox Designer. The position involves designing gameplay mechanics for a rich and sandbox environment, indicating extensive freedom for players. Developed by Cliffhanger Games, the project aims to deliver an authentic Black Panther experience. While release details are scarce, it joins Marvel Games' ambitious lineups including titles like Marvel's Wolverine and Marvel's Iron Man. Fans are excited about the potential of an open world Black Panther game and its place among other upcoming Marvel titles. The Fallout series experiences a resurgence on Steam following the release of the Prime Videos TV series, with Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 now among the top selling games. Bethesda's sales for these titles coincide with discounted prices for Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, available as part of a bundle. The franchise dominates Steam's most played chart, with Fallout 4 leading with a nearly 80,000 concurrent players. Fallout 76 and Fallout New Vegas also make significant appearances. Bethesda's announcement of a next-gen upgrade for Fallout 4 further fuels anticipation, featuring performance enhancements and new quests centered around the Enclave faction. Get ready for the highly anticipated Final Fantasy XIV Down Trail expansion with a series of exciting events leading up to its launch. Players can enjoy crossover events such as Yokai Watch and Dragon Quest X, alongside enhancements like graphic updates and new features including blacklist controls set for release with the expansion. Square Enix revealed the calendar of events spanning from May to June, featuring the return of collaboration events. A letter from the producer live broadcast and more additionally players can participate in activities like the final fantasy 16 crossover event and the moogle treasure trove to earn rewards while awaiting the early access period for down trail beginning on june 28th with a packed schedule of events and updates final fantasy 14 enthusiasts have plenty to look forward to in the coming weeks and finally, with the upcoming Fortnite update, Epic Games is reportedly lifting the censorship from the free-to-play Battle Royale game, specifically regarding the word devil in the rebellious emo. While Fortnite is primarily aimed at children, this reversal suggests a shift in the game's content policies. The reason for the initial censorship remains unclear, possibly linked to maintaining the game's rating. However, given existing devil-themed content like skins and songs, the censorship may have been an oversight. The emote featuring Doja Cat's Paint the Town Red debuted alongside the Coachella event and will soon be replaced by the Sonic Surfer emote. Epic Games has yet to comment on this change, leaving players to speculate on the decision's implications. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm -hmm.